We have a human. His name is Tim. Tim is human, so we can be done cooping. But there's a problem. There's two toilets. Dunk cooping is a method that accepts toilet. The thing is, the golden toilet, when it flushes, depends on the sewer pipes. The sewer pipes depends on the sewer system. The sewer system depends on the sewage treatment plant. The sewage treatment plant depends on city workers. City workers depend on tax dollars. Tax dollars depend on politicians. Don't depend on politicians. The porta potty toilet? Oh, that's another story. The porta potty toilet flush method depends on large multi gallon waste holding bins. The waste holding bins depend on sanitation companies to empty those bins. And those emptying sanitation companies depend on large trucks. Those large trucks depend on massive storing tanks, and mass sorting tanks depend on large hoses. And it just never ends. The dependency tree never ends. Unless you use the D in salad. Dependency inversion. Inverting the dependency tree by depending on abstractions instead of the details. So let's dive in and invert this crappy dependency tree using dependency inversion. Okay. So Dependency inversion is a software design principle most notable as the D in solid design principles. This principle states that higher level modules should not depend on low level modules. And both should depend on abstractions. So higher level modules should not depend on low level modules and both higher and lower level modules should depend on abstractions. So one, what are higher level modules? Two, what are lower, lower level modules? And three, what are the abstractions and how do we depend on them? Those are our questions. So we're going to start with three. First off, our abstraction is going to be our interface. So instead of depending on how something flushes instead of depending on the large multi-gallon waste holding bin that depends on the sanitization company to empty that depends on large trucks that depends on massive sorting tanks that depends on large hoses that depends on vacuum technology that depends on etc 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 instead of depending on that just depend on the fact that it can flush not on how it flushes and we can do that by just creating an interface so we're going to create an interface called toilet we're actually going to call that toilet interface. And this is going to have a public function flush. Okay. So one is the abstraction is the interface. Abstraction is our interface. Okay. So next thing is how do we depend on them? Well, our lower level modules which are porta potty and golden toilet can depend on interfaces simply by doing implements toilet interface. Okay. And then on our golden toilet interface. Fair enough. All right. So now we know that our golden toilet and our porta potty can flush. So we scroll back down to human public function done pooping okay now the question is this first off are porta potty toilet and golden toilet are those are lower level modules or higher level modules how do we tell well first off there are our lower level modules here's how we tell toilet interface toilet okay human is our higher level module and specifically the done pooping method is higher higher level than the actual porta potty toilet class and golden toilet class the reason is this is that these implement the method or implement the interface within the class that makes them lower level so if they have to implement if the class has to implement the toilet interface or the they're responsible for implementing the interface that's your lower level module so golden toilet porta potty toilet you know you could go and you can make an, an orange toilet and then that could implement toilet interface right and you could just make as many as you want all day as long as it can flush 
just like that and then it's good to go doesn't matter how just matters that it can okay so porta potty toilet and golden toilet are both implementing toilet interface because they have to implement that interface on themselves they have to implement it on the class itself that makes them lower level they have to be able to flush that's lower level now the higher level module is the one that can digest whatever the interface makes that thing do in this case the toilet can flush well when the human is done pooping it can accept the toilet and flush it because it doesn't actually have to implement the toilet interface here the human doesn't actually implement the toilet interface they just accept the toilet interface within their method that means they're the higher level they're the one that they are uh, they're looking you know they accept it and they do something with it but they aren't the ones that actually handle the flush functionality that's the lower level stuff they're closer to the actual flush functionality the higher level it just accepts something that can flush and then handles whatever it needs to do once it accepts that thing that can flush so human is higher level and it has to accept the interface as well so now let's get rid of all of this stuff and just so we can see everything okay so what are the higher level modules well it's actually module and it is anything that accepts the abstraction and does something with it so anything that accepts the abstraction and does something with it that means like done pooping and then we do toilet interface you know toilet and then we do toilet flush well because it accepts the interface and does something with it we know that's the higher level thing it doesn't actually have the flush function on it it doesn't implement the flush method it's not responsible for running the flush method but it kind of is because it accepts the toilet and it runs the flush method on the toilet and the toilet's actually responsible for the flushing so the toilet is closer to the ground level is closer to handling the dependencies um, but we don't really want to know how the toilet handles those we just want to know that it can so it's higher level and our higher level depends on the fact that the toilet can flush not on how it flushes and we do that by referencing the interface instead of the class the second part is what are lower level modules well any class here one sec any class that has to implement the abstraction any class implementing the abstraction now why why is that well if a class implements the abstraction then it can do whatever that behavior is so then it can do whatever that behavior is in its own way but that behavior is still there we don't know exactly how that behavior takes place but we do know that we can almost plug into that behavior use that method as a plugin so the toilet interface you know if we pass that through and if our lower level things are implementing the toilet interface we know they can flush we don't know how they flush exactly we don't really care but we know they can you know and then once you get into the details of the lower level then you can define exactly how you flush within the lower level area now the higher level the human when they are done pooping they accept the toilet but they reference the interface as well they reference the abstraction so lower level implements the abstraction lower level implements the interface higher level accepts the abstraction higher level accepts the uh, the uh, the abstraction or the interface and then triggers whatever it needs to trigger so guys that is um yeah that's dependency inversion in a nutshell that one is probably the most confusing part 
But the big thing is lower level implements the abstraction. The abstraction being toilet interface, just saying, hey, you can flush. Lower level, lower level modules implement interface. Higher level modules accept the interface. And both lower and higher level modules must depend on the interface, aka abstraction. So guys, that is dependency inversion in a nutshell. What's cool about this is you're completely flipping the dependency tree. Instead of depending on everything that we went over earlier, you know, like the sewage system, you know, and everybody that works at the sewage system in the city and the taxes. Now you're just depending on the fact that on flush. So you literally went from like 20 or 30 dependencies and now you're just depending on the fact that it can flush. That's all you need to know is that can you plug into this, can the done pooping method plug into this and trigger and hook in to this flush method. That's all we depend on is the fact that it can flushes. We don't care how. We don't care how. We do care that it can. So that is dependency inversion in a nutshell. Um, if you guys thought this was helpful, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, yeah.